Most of us learned how to count by memorizing numbers in order. In education, we call this rote counting. One, two, three, four, five. But counting actual items or pictures and understanding that those numbers mean something is more complex. Today on Growing Up WPS, let's take a look at some fun ways to get your little ones counting objects using the everyday things around your house. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There is so much to count at home. Dolls, shoes, cups, cats. Come on, bud, let's do some counting. Let's help dad fold the clothes. How many socks did we wash? Two, three. How many pairs of socks did we wash? Four, five. How many stuffed animals will fit in the basket? Four, five, six, seven. Toy cars are fun to count. Let's see how many can park in our parking lot. Eight, nine, ten. Mom and Dad, move the cars into a different configuration and have your child count them again. One, two, three. And what if they're in a line? Or a circle? Practice makes perfect. Eight, nine, ten. Older kids can practice counting objects in larger numbers by grouping them. Can your child count the cars by putting them in groups of five? Five, ten, fifteen. Let's count the animals in our zoo. How many lions do we have? One. How many birds? One, two, three. Good job. How many animals all together? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Clean up time. Try having your little one count toys as they put them away in the toy box. Seven, eight, nine, one, two. Three, time for bed. As we head upstairs to wash up, let's count the stairs. How many are there? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No stairs? How many steps does it take to get from the sink to the bed? Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good night. Time to count sheep. Good night. As you can see, there are lots of ways to practice counting around the house. For more information and for other great tips, visit usd259.org slash growing up WPS. We'll see you next time.